Biden's new model, Seed Dream 4.0, has been the talk of the town lately, with a lot of people even calling it the Nano Banana Killer. And so in today's video, I'm putting in the test inside my AI UGC system to see how powerful this model actually is, compared to Nano Banana released by Google, which has been one of the top models out there so far. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So just to recap, this is part of my series where I document the process of building the ultimate AI UGC system. And in the last video, I built a foundation system using Nano Banana and Key AI, which lets me upload any characters that I want like this one over here or even generate AI UGC actors like this over here. And from there, I can generate ads of any length and any style that I like for any single product like this one over here for this specific can or even in a different style like this. But here's the bigger picture, right? Instead of rebuilding a whole new workflow every time a new model comes out, the true value of content orchestration is in creating systems that we can expand on. That way, we can always plug and play new tools like Seed Dance as an add-on without ever needing to restart from scratch. And that's how we can actually build a truly scalable content system. And before I move into showcasing how this works, if you're interested to just plug and play this blueprint for yourself to generate AI UGC ads, you can join my community where I share all my blueprints as well as go more in depth into how I build this whole system up from scratch. All right, so now let's go into how I actually integrate Seed Dance into this system. And then we're going to go into testing it to see how the results actually fare compared to the Nano Banana UGC advert that we have created previously like this one and this one. So to make sure that we don't have to switch to anything new, I actually use an API aggregator called Key AI that allows me to connect to all the different video models and image models like both Nano Banana and Seed Dream without having to actually recreate a new API connection. And I just have to add in a new API endpoint for Seed Dream instead. And as this is an example of how I add on a new model for both character generation as well as scene generation for my UGC videos, I actually added in a new field to the actor form where I have an option to select the Seed Dream model for the image model in the actor form as well as the Airtable input where I'm actually able to now select the image model over here as well for Seed Dance. So once I'm able to do that, what I actually do next in the system is just adding a switch node where it's going to select the specific model for image generation based on what we give it. I added that in both the actor generation system as well as in the scene generation system where I'm able to utilize either of these models for generation. And just like that with a simple add-on, I'm now able to utilize Seed Dance in my UGC system without actually having to rebuild the whole thing from scratch or even remove the previous Nano Banana option. And this is truly the power of building a modular system. So now that we get how we build the system out of the way, let's go into the exciting part, which is a demo to see how they fare against each other. We're going to start with the very first example, which is character generation. So previously, we have generated this actor Ronnie over here, right, using Nano Banana. We're going to have the exact same input over here. And this time, we're going to use Seed Dance to generate the character. And let's see what is the difference that we will get, okay? So I'm going to go back to any end. I'm going to execute my actor generation system, okay? And I'm going to key in the values. Now that we have added in the exact same information and we have chosen the image model Seed Dream, let's see what we get by clicking Submit. And now you can see the workflow is running and this time it's using the Seed Dream model and it's going to generate the actor for us. Okay, now it's completed. Let's take a look at what we have gotten. Go back to Airtable. And now we have Ronnie 2 over here. Let's open this up. Okay, now let's take a look at realism for both Ronnie 2 and Ronnie 1. Well, honestly, I think they both look pretty good, right? If you take a look at Ronnie 2 generated by Seed Dream, it's actually pretty realistic and pretty bright. Perhaps a little bit closer to realism compared to Ronnie 1. Ronnie 1 is actually pretty good, but it's a little bit more perfect to the point that it might look a little bit more AI generated. Both Seed Dream and Nano Banana's price is roughly around the same, about one cent plus per image as well. So I would say they're pretty much on pair on this one, but Seed Dream for this specific generation, I would say is something that I prefer a lot and I think could actually create promising results for the UGC advert videos that we want to create later on. All right. And now using Ronnie 2, we're going to recreate the advert we have for Ronnie 1 earlier on. Okay, let's take a look at what Ronnie 1 has gotten previously with Nano Banana. What I did previously was to upload a can product over here. Okay, and then with this specific information like the ad narrative, as well as the instructions for the scene itself, what we've gotten is something that looks like this, right? Take a look over here. Okay. This is actually pretty cool and I like this quality a lot. But let's see what we will get from Seed Dream this time on, all right? So I'm going to go back here. We're now going to copy the exact input that we have over here. We're going to paste this in a new input. 
right we're going to choose ronnie 2 this time so we're going to find ronnie 2 okay and we're just going to choose the number of scenes to be the same 2 9 16 view 3 fast for the video and we're going to choose seat then seat dream for the model okay visual style iphone raw realism same thing and we're going to set generate ads to get our very first scene now let's run our scene generation and see what happens all right now it's completed let's see what we have gotten let's go back to air table over here and let's find the very first scene that we have for this new video and let's open up the very first scene let's download it now let's put them side by side to see what we have gotten now this is the very first version that we have earlier with our very first ron and this is the second version with the second ron that we have over here okay so let's see the first one again Okay, now let's see the second one with Seed Dream. They both feature the product pretty well. I do like the realism of the new one, but I think the color is a little bit yellowish. In terms of creating this scene with the UGC advert, I think they both fare pretty well for bringing in the product as well as the actor into the image. In terms of the color tone, I do like Nano Banana a little bit more on this one, but I think Seed Dream did a pretty decent job as well. Okay, and now besides just the UGC realism, one last thing I like to test is to see how it actually fares in a different style of video using our UGC character. Previously, I've created this cyberpunk anime style advert featuring this specific product as well and so i'm going to recreate this specific advert using seed dream this time and see what kind of colors and image we will get out of it so going back to Airtable, we're going to create one for reyna this time which is our actress over here okay and so using reyna we're going to copy the very exact cyberpunk ct advert all right and we're gonna name this cyberpunk ct2 and this time we're gonna choose seat dance and we're gonna set it as lo-fi 90s anime and we're gonna set to generate ads to try this out all right now it's completed let's check out the final output and compare them so let's take a look at the one that we have gotten from nano banana first this will give you newtonic strength so this is pretty good and we have gotten the exact product as well in the anime style. But let's take a look at Seed Dance over here. This will give you Newtonic strength. Right, so the anime is actually pretty cool, right? The one that we have gotten from Seed Dance is actually a little bit more 3D animated, whereas the one that we have gotten using Nano Banana is a little bit more 2D animated, but it's a little bit clearer as well. I think in terms of the different style, I do like Nano Banana's output a little bit more because I think it's a little bit more consistent in terms of the product as well as the actor. And the design of the style is like something that I actually enjoy a lot as well. But Seed Dance did a pretty good job as well, except for the fact that the product isn't exactly what we wanted, but the character is still pretty much the same but the visual style is actually pretty good as well so i believe for both seed dance and nano banana they both have their own unique strength and i think they both could ultimately still be pretty useful in generating ugc videos and so that said i'll be keeping both models inside my systems as options so i can choose whichever fits the project better this really once again proves the value of building modular automation systems right we don't have to rebuild from scratch every single time and we can keep upgrading swapping models and improving as the tools evolve and that's how you create a system that actually lasts especially in a fast-moving AI space. And so if you want the full blueprint to this system as well as all of my future upgrades and step-by-step -step tutorials on how you can build your own custom UGC automation workflows like this, you can join my school community link in the description below where you gain access to step-by-step -step guides as well as weekly live course and community support to help you get unstuck while you're building. Till then, I hope you found this video valuable and it showcased to you the power of AI automations. I appreciate you watching and staying to the end. If you like a video like this, do give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.